Hello everyone, good morning. Today is a very exciting day because last night I submit my last paper, which means that it is officially summer and it feels so good. I think that for the past two weeks or so, I was averaging something like four hours of sleep a night. I was just really stressed out because I had a lot of papers and I'm moving. Um, and so now that all of that has sort of settled and I can finally breathe, it still hasn't really hit. Um, but anyway, it is officially summer. I thought I would celebrate today with a sort of mellow day, but still fun. Uh, we're gonna go to the farmer's market because I still need some food for my new kitchen. Um, and also do some secondhand sort of shopping for little things for my room. Today is also super exciting because this is my first video since hitting 1,000 subscribers, which is so exciting and I'm so grateful. Thank you all so much. So if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button below and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. You can wait till the end if you wanna do that since you haven't seen it yet, or you can do it now if you wanna be nice. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> market and I'm whipping up lunch because I'm starving so I got some sweet potato fries while I was there which I forgot to film but I had some leftover of this really good like garlicky mayo that came with them and so I was thinking that I could make a sort of panini and then use the rest of that with some herbs um, and it could be really good so right now I just have my um, onions and garlic sauteing with some um, yellow squash and then we're also going to cook up some eggplants. Um, and then I'm thinking of mixing some cilantro or parsley with this to make sort of like herb mayo. Um, and then I have some sourdough um, in the oven right now. So as soon as that is done, we will have the base for our panini. And I cannot wait. I don't think I'm going to use these. I don't think I feel like salt pepper right now. So I quickly realized that two of these is definitely not going to be enough. I think I'm going to make them like open face paninis. Um, but I have two more of them heating up right now. So they are done. I am so excited to dig in. So basically I just put, um, I toasted the sourdough bread and then I put the layer of the um, mayo mixed with parsley and then the yellow squash, some eggplant, some watercress. Um, oh, and there's onions in there. The onions and garlic, the yellow squash, the eggplant, some watercress and some tomato on top. And then I just drizzled it with some olive oil and some balsamic vinegar. And oh my goodness, I am so -ho -ho excited to eat these. Watch me make an absolute mess of myself. Definitely don't make these for a date. So being an independent woman and moving to a new country is cool and all until your water heater stops working and you don't speak Dutch so you can't read the manual and you don't have hot water. <laughs> just want to shower and your hair is greasy so I think that the heater is connected to the water heater and so neither of them are currently working so I put on another sweater and two layers of socks on um, and I'm just gonna make some soup because I'm really cold um, it was raining earlier but now it stopped so I'm just gonna really you know get the cozy vibes out of this experience I have this vegetarian chicken noodle soup that I actually didn't buy. One of my friends got this and then um, when she left, she gave it to me because she hadn't had it yet. Um, so I'm just gonna heat this up um, and maybe watch some Netflix or something. It feels weird to pour soup out of a bag. Okay, I need two hands. Oh my god, I want it. Where did you get it? And I'm gonna get it for, cause I really need, I want brownies so bad. Yeah, that's my next, here. So dinner time has arrived and I'm just making a big salad because I had some lettuce that I had to use up. Um, so I have all that chopped up and ready to go. I have some tempeh cooking. So I'm just marinating the tempeh in some soy sauce and maple syrup. 
and I'm making sort of a miso, sort of like a tangy miso dressing right now, um, which is just gonna be some maple syrup, some miso paste, um, and a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Um, and then I'm gonna throw some sauerkraut, some hummus, um, maybe some tomatoes in here. We'll see, we'll see. All right, so she is done. And honestly, you know, she'll do, but I wish I wish she had some more stuff going on. If I can set this up. Nope. So I just added some sauerkraut and a big old dollop of hummus on there, and then I have the tempeh, um, and I threw some apples in there too, because I tried that with a salad that I made. Um, I tried that with a salad that I made the other day, and it was really good. It just adds sort of like a crunch to it, but it's also kind of sweet, so it's really nice. Um, but if you have avocado, that would be really, really good in here. Um, tahini would have been nice. Um, or something else I was thinking about. Oh, and quinoa would have been nice. All of those things will make this a lot more substantial and satisfying, but, but again, I'm very limited, and every time I try and do groceries for just like basic staples, I get back and I realize there's something else that I'm still missing, so I think it's gonna be probably a week until I have everything that I actually need. Um, and I still have some of my sourdough baguette, so if I need some more carbs after this, I can go there. I'm gonna take this to my dining room table, which is the floor. And so also now that it's summer, I think I want to start watching something on Netflix or just a general TV show because I haven't watched TV in probably three or four years, basically my entire college student life. Um, and so if you have any recommendations on your favorite TV shows or what's worth watching, um, my list so far is I'm interested in Game of Thrones, I'm interested in House of Cards, um, Ozark, is that what it's called? Ozark, something like that, um, and Girls. Are the ones that have been recommended the most but if you have any other recommendations let me know so i just finished up dinner but um update on the shower situation i got my water tank fixed um the girl i'm subletting from came with her roommate and um they speak dutch and they were able to fix it um and so i'm really excited for a hot shower because i don't know if you can tell i am extremely extremely greasy right now and i also look bright red um but I'm thinking I'm going to have a little dance party before I go to bed. Um, maybe watch some Netflix. And, of course, have a nice hot shower. And dessert, of course. Always, always dessert. So, this is what's going on for dessert. I just got some of these, um, I don't know, they're like cookie, very mild cookies. I um, got some coconut milk and some chocolate orange spread. So, yeah, this, this is the move of the night. If I had some vanilla ice cream right now, or coconut ice cream, that would be so good, but I'm still enjoying this. really bad from eating and dancing um, so now that I've built up a nice little sweat I think it's time to uh, go take a shower and then go to bed so I'm gonna wrap up this video here I hope you enjoyed watching thank you for being here um, I also have something very exciting coming up I'm starting a new sort of series for summer um, so be sure to stay tuned for that um, yeah I'm so out of breath all right good night. I love you I'll see you soon